Hi, Dr. Wayne here. I uh, want to tell you a story. I was um, born in Alaska, raised there my whole life. Um, was heavily involved in sports, basically until there's nothing else to do up there, as you can imagine. Um, we, uh, my whole family lived up there. My dad moved up there because of his father moving up there. Um, and they both were in oil. Grandfather was a driller. And my dad, you know, got in the oil company and um, went from there. Well, anyways, growing up, I can remember, never remember being in a sporting event, um, competing, uh, that my grandfather wasn't there. And, and I don't know about yours, but mine was the boisterous, big bellied, you know, loud as all hell guy <clears throat> who um, was just there to support me because I was his grandson, you know, and that was his thing. And I loved him being there as though it's sometimes, you know, how you get a little bit, um, you know, ner uh, embarrassed because he's being so loud. Well, Whatever, it was just one of those things, and I remember my whole life growing up through that, that that's what he, that's what he was, that's what he was like, and, and it was great, and you know, he made other people laugh around him just because he was so, you know, into the game, and, and I wouldn't trade him for the world. Well, he was that guy, right, my dad, and my dad of course, but, and my mom, but my grandfather was at everything I can remember doing. Um, when I played in baseball, I, I, uh, and during the summer, he would come and play and watch all the time. Every time I would, when I left for college, he was there to say goodbye. When I came back for the winter break and summer break, he was there to say hello. And you know, I maybe not would see him the whole week I was at home, but he would be there to say hi and say goodbye. And it was great, and I'll never forget it. Well, what happened was um, a couple of years ago, my grandfather got diagnosed with cancer, um, and. I was in the middle of graduate school at the time, and or no, I was just out of graduate school, and, and I was in Colorado, and he gets diagnosed with cancer, and um, very rapidly decreases bad, goes from, I don't know, probably 250 pounds down to 160, and rapidly loses massive amounts of weight. Uh, my dad said he couldn't recognize him compared to what he would look like. And uh, was in massive amounts of pain. His arm would break randomly. Um, he just wasted away to a terrible, terrible uh, disposition and all that stuff. And ended up dying about six or nine months after he got diagnosed with cancer. Um, and and you know, hearing and and feeling, seeing what he went through, and hearing my dad talk about it. Uh, what happened was I, I flew up to Colorado, I mean to Alaska, uh, for his funeral, and it was one of the pallbearers, and we just, we carried him, and watching my dad, what what happened to him emotionally and, and physically, and you know, the memories of him and his father, and how he had left um, when he was little, my dad was little, um, they got divorced, and he went away um, to Alaska, my dad ended up following him, but they healed from all that stuff, but just watching what it did to my dad and emotionally wrecked him, crying, you know, so upset, as I, as I can imagine I will be, and, and maybe you too, um, just put life into perspective for me a little bit. You know, my grandfather died in his low 70s, um, and so does most Americans when we're 74, I think, is the average age of death. Uh, he died in his low 70s of cancer, um, cancer, 95% of the time, research tells us from Harvard and um, New England Journal of Medicine, all these places, that it's 95% of it's lifestyle caused. And so here's why I tell you this story. Um, you have a reason for getting up in the morning, going to work, um, for exercising, for eating the way that you do. Uh, and it's got to be way more important or way more of a bigger reason than I just want to look better in my jeans. I just want my abs to be ripped. I just want my face to be skinny. It's got to be way more important than that. And so I tell you this story um, not only because I want you to, to understand why I do it, um, but because you need to come up with a reason yourself. And you know, watching what that did to my dad, 
watching what it, I know it did to the rest of the family. Um, I made a decision that day, and I was fat. I was about 225, 230 pounds. I now weigh like 185, 190. I made a decision that day that I'm going to do everything that I possibly can not to get and die of cancer. Um, because if it's 95% lifestyle caused, I'm going to live my life in a way that I don't do that to my kids. Um, that I'm not going to die early and leave my kids upset and crushed like that earlier than maybe they were supposed to be. Um, that I'm not going to die of disease that's caused by the way that I live, um, how I eat, how I exercise or not. Um, chiropractic care, all that stuff. I'm not going to live a life like that. So I made a decision to that that won't be me. And so why I get up in the morning, why I exercise every day, why I try to eat about as clean as possible is because I don't want to do that to my children. And I don't want them to have to suffer unnecessarily um, for something that I could have prevented had I just taken control of, of um, my lifestyle. So you've got to come up with a reason. It can't be how I look, it can't be material, it can't be vanity, because that stuff's gonna go away. As soon as you think your butt looks better, you're gonna stop and you're gonna get weaker and you're gonna stop eating right. Um, you're gonna stop exercising maybe as much as you were. Um, so you gotta come up with a reason. I hope you'll post a comment on what that reason is, because I'd like to converse with you about that. Um, but you've got you've gotta come up with something that you can get up every morning and just think, this is what I'm gonna. This is why I'm going to do what I do today. Is for them. It can't be about you. It, it's got to be about whether it is your kids, whether it's your family, your best friend, um, whether it's a community, uh, whatever it is. So anything that I'm going to do for the rest of my life, um, whether it's speak in front of groups of people, teach them how to eat, and teach them how to exercise, teach them about health. Um, whatever it is I'm always going to go into that meeting and that conversation thinking about why I'm doing it why why I want to why I get up and and what it is that I that I do every day it's all because of my children and because of um, the purpose for me to be there for them um, you know hopefully till I'm 108 that's my job my goal is to live to 108 um, so if you have any questions please get a hold of me at drwaynesisoyahoo.com um, have a great day. Thanks.